Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna test the mining hash rates of this RTX 3090 Ti. So before we get started, a little closer look at this GPU. So this is the EVGA for the Win 3. It's like the highest end for the Win 3 that they sell um, in the 3090 Ti. It's absolutely massive. GPU. I mean, look at the cooler on this thing. It's huge. And I guess the one thing that it has to call out here, that's the first time I've seen it on an EVGA GPU, is it has that 12-pin power connector that you can see right there. I think it's the same one NVIDIA has been using. And so, of course, what that means is it comes with this silly little adapter, 12-pin on one side. Um, and then what it has on the other side, it has three A-pins that you can see right there. Three A-pins. So, Let's get this thing hooked up. It's going to look real ugly, I think, but uh, we'll see how it does hash rate wise. So let's get going. Normal configuration for how we do testing. I have it measured by the PMD by Elmore Lab. So the PCIe cables run through this meter here, which we'll see up on the screen once we get to testing. So it gives me the true accurate measurement of wattage over the PCIe cable. So in this video, we're going to test a few algorithms. We're going to do Ethereum, Ergo, Ravencoin, Furo, and Flux. So if you're interested in seeing the hash rates and the performance of this GPU, is it worth it for mining? Stay tuned, and we're going to do those right now. And at the end of the video, I'll give you my opinions on this GPU overall and if it makes sense to pick up for GPU mining. So let's get started with Ethereum. In Hive OS, hash rate is up on your screen here, and you can see the wattage being reported above me over that PMD by Elmore Lab. So 131 mega hash is reported here. You can see the overclocks that I'm using, 1250 on the core, 2800 on the memory. For these overclocks and all the others you're going to see in this video, I spent days and days testing to make sure I can get the best overclocks for this specific GPU. Let's see how the miner's doing. We're gonna go over the shell. T-Rex miner reporting that same 131 mega hash, 324 watts. And the thing you probably noticed already is that that wattage reported in the miner isn't accurate. We're in fact pulling more than that. 351 watts reported on the meter right now, 353. And this is probably the biggest discrepancy I've seen for NVIDIA from what is reported both in the miner and what is reported in line. I don't know if that's a GPU thing, a minor thing, or a driver thing, but really interesting. So definitely take that into your calculations for profitability. And if you're wiring up this GPU in a rig, absolutely have to take that into account. So that is Ethereum. Ergo is up next, mining it right now. You can see I'm using the same overclocks I use on Ethereum. That's true for pretty much any GPU I've ever tested Ethereum and Ergo on. So core again, 1250 locked there, and memory 2800 overclocked. And you can see the performance I'm getting, 262.6 mega hash, and the software is reporting 233 watts. And if we switch over here using T-Rex Miner again, it's giving me the same data, but yet again, it's not accurate. Inline over PCIe, I'm pulling more than that. Right now, reporting 252 watts. I've seen it go up to over 260 watts measured inline. So there's some kind of weird discrepancy happening on this GPU that I've really never seen before, at least that wide a margin on an NVIDIA GPU. Ravencoin and Fear are up next. You can see the results I'm getting here in Hive OS, 65.58 mega hash. Overclocks are a little different from Ethereum and Ergo. I've dropped the memory down a little bit, down to 2600. Seems to give some better performance, and I have the core locked at 1200 now to get that 65.58 mega hash. Taking a look at the miner, which is T-Rex miner again. You can see those results reported here. And again, same story with this wattage, which is driving me nuts. So 424 watts reported in the mining software, but at the wall, we're reporting way more than that, over 30 watts more, 40 watts more, up to 460 watts reported at the wall for both Ravencoin and Fira, which will have the same hash rates because remember, they have the same foundational algorithm they're built upon, which is ProgPow. Last up is Flux. You can see what I'm mining right now in Hive OS. I have 110.6 solutions per second mining Flux. Overclocks are a little different. The memory is the same at 2600, but I went old school for the core overclock. I tried lock core clocks, but it just really didn't like it. So I instead have plus 50 on the core. Let's take a look at the miner. I'm using Mini Z Miner in mining Flux. You can see the same results reported here. And again, 340 watts reported in the software, but Inline over PCIe right now, jumping around quite a bit, as low as 340, up to 360. I've even seen it go as high as almost touching 400 watts. Spreadsheet time. So you can see the final results that I was able to achieve on each of these cryptocurrencies over a long period of time, just averaged everything out the best I could. 
And really looking at this, I mean, it's not the best GPU for mining, but we're going to talk a little bit about that in a second. So Ethereum, 131 mega hash, Ergo, 262 mega hash, Raven and Firo coming in at 65.71 mega hash. And then rounding out at the end is Flux at 111 mega hash. You can see the same overclocks that I was talking about throughout this video here in case you need them, but let's wrap this one up. So there's no doubt about it. The 3090 Ti is an absolute powerhouse of a GPU, but there is a cost, right? There is a cost associated with that. Although it can get really high mega hash performance on a lot of these algorithms, it draws quite a bit of power from the wall to do that. And efficiency is the name of the game when it comes to mining. You want to have the most mega hash you can for the least amount of power that you can use. And the 3090 Ti just falls short in a lot of ways when you think about efficiency. Density is great, right? Even though it's a big GPU, the amount of mega hash you can get out of a single GPU, there's something to be said about that. Would I recommend this for mining ultimately? Probably not. I'm really glad I got one. I love testing GPUs. That's just me. It's probably a sick gaming card. I'll never game with it, but it probably is a sick gaming card. But what I think I want to do in some future videos is put this head to head with a 3090, maybe even a 3080 Ti and see how they stack up against each other. I guess the one thing it does have going for it is it's not an LHR GPU. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU mining content. Through my Discord if you want to chat, the link is down in the description. Follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram links are down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.